Hello and welcome back to our channel. Today we're diving into the heart of China's 2024 mega projects, and trust me, you won't believe your eyes. From towering dams harnessing unimaginable power to intricate tunnels defying the laws of nature, these projects have not only captured the attention of the world, but have left American engineers completely stunned. So buckle up and get ready to witness the awe-inspiring ingenuity that's reshaping the landscape of modern construction. Let's delve into the jaw-dropping feats that have set the bar sky high and left us all in absolute amazement. Get ready to witness a mind-blowing engineering feat that'll leave you on the edge of your seat. Picture this. A bustling city's main artery choked with endless traffic, day in and day out. Now, imagine if the vital bridge at the heart of this chaotic network suddenly becomes a danger zone. It's a logistical nightmare, right? Well, not for Chinese engineers. Enter the Sanan Bridge Replacement Project, a jaw-dropping saga of innovation and precision that unfolded in Beijing back in 2015. This bridge, handling over 200,000 vehicles daily, was on the brink of collapse under its own weight. But shutting it down for months? Absolutely out of the question. So, what's the solution? Brace yourself for a demolition extravaganza unlike anything you've ever seen. Under the cover of midnight, the old bridge is shut down and the race against time begins. Giant saws slice through concrete and steel, breaking the bridge into 27 massive chunks, some weighing as much as 139 tons. That's nearly twice the weight of a blue whale. But here's the heart-stopping part. This demolition unfolds while the old bridge is still partially standing. It's like a high-stakes game of Jenga, but with cranes and precision technology keeping everything in check. Meanwhile, nearby, the new bridge, weighing a whopping 1,300 tons, waits to take its place. Enter the Shen Tuo, a colossal Chinese-made transporter with 96 wheels, ready to lift and move the new bridge into position. These machines are synchronized to perfection, maneuvering the massive structure like it's a mere toy. But don't be fooled. It's all about millimeter precision here, with GPS, lasers, and cutting-edge tech ensuring every move is spot on. Get ready to be amazed as we dive into the lightning-fast construction of a medical marvel, the Huoshenshan Hospital in Wuhan, China, built in an astonishing 10 days. Picture this battling a rapidly spreading virus with limited healthcare resources. That was the daunting reality Wuhan faced at the onset of the COVID-19 pandemic. But in the face of adversity, China rose to the challenge. The Huoshenshan Hospital wasn't just a structure, it was a symbol of hope and resilience. Strategically built on a pre-existing logistics site, this smart decision saved precious time on land acquisition and groundwork. So, how did they pull off this incredible feat in just 10 days? Prefabrication became the key. Think of it like building with giant Lego blocks. Prefabricated wall panels, pre-assembled piping systems, and modular patient rooms arrived on site, ready for rapid assembly. But the magic didn't stop there. Over 7,000 skilled laborers worked tirelessly around the clock, each with a specific role to play. Electricians installed pre-wired panels, plumbers connected pre-assembled units, and carpenters erected prefabricated walls, all with military precision. The numbers behind this project are staggering. With an average of 2,500 square meters of prefabricated panels laid every day, it's like building a new house every few hours. But this level of efficiency didn't happen overnight. Months before the crisis, Chinese authorities had invested in prefabricated construction facilities, anticipating emergency response needs. Advanced 3D modeling software allowed engineers to meticulously plan every detail, ensuring seamless assembly on-site. And when it came to logistics, a sophisticated system was established to ensure a steady flow of materials without delays. But this project wasn't just about speed, it was about functionality, too. Dedicated isolation wards with negative pressure ventilation systems were in place to prevent the spread of the virus within the hospital. 
advanced medical equipment, including respiratory machines and diagnostic tools, arrived alongside the prefabricated units, ensuring the hospital was fully operational from day one. The Hoshenshan. Hospital isn't just a testament to speed. It's a testament to human ingenuity, innovative construction methods, and unwavering determination. It's a real-life example of what's possible when we come together to overcome challenges and build a better future. Get ready to be blown away as we uncover the jaw-dropping engineering marvel that is China's high-speed rail network. Imagine this, a fully functional train station constructed in just nine hours. Yes, you heard that right, nine hours. Let's delve into this mind-bending feat and see how they pulled off the impossible. First, let's set the scene. We're not talking about starting from scratch here. This project involved upgrading a vital section of track near the bustling Longyen Station in Fujian Province. The goal? Seamlessly integrating this station with a brand new high-speed rail line. Picture journeys that once took seven hours now slashed to a breezy 90 minutes, thanks to sleek bullet trains zooming at 200 km per. Now, how did they manage to pull off this nine-hour miracle? It all boils down to meticulous planning and a hefty dose of prefabrication. Months before the big night, engineers meticulously mapped out every step of the process, like playing a high-stakes chess game where every move is calculated in advance. Prefabrication became their secret weapon. Pre-assembled track sections, complete with sleepers and ballast, were cast off-site in dedicated facilities akin to giant Lego pieces for a high-speed railway. When the big day arrives, 1,500 workers descend upon the site with military precision. Time is of the essence. Disrupting a major station like Long Yen for an extended period would throw the city's transportation network into chaos. So, they work through the night, like a well-oiled machine, divided into specialized teams. One group focuses on dismantling the existing track, while another meticulously removes the old interlocking system, a complex network of switches that allow trains to maneuver between tracks. Here's where the magic happens. Those prefabricated track sections swing into action, lifted and slotted into place with laser-guided precision by specialized cranes and rail-mounted machinery. But that's not all. Skilled electricians are hard at work, rewiring the entire section to seamlessly integrate with the existing signaling system. As the prefabricated sections are laid, other teams tackle the ballast, ensuring a smooth ride for future high-speed trains. With clockwork precision, the teams work tirelessly through the night, replacing the old interlocking system, securing the prefabricated track sections, compacting the ballast, and completing the electrical connections. As dawn breaks, they breathe a collective sigh of relief. The impossible has been achieved. A fully functional section of track, ready to handle high-speed behemoths built in a mere nine hours, it's a testament to human ingenuity and the power of meticulous planning and teamwork. Get ready to journey into the heart of Africa's engineering marvel, the Mero Dam. Back in 2003, China stepped onto the African stage with an ambitious project, constructing the largest contemporary hydroelectric project on the continent. Nestled on the Nile River in Sudan, about 350 kilometer north of the bustling capital, Khartoum, the Moreau Dam isn't just about size. It's a testament to modern engineering at its finest. Imagine this, a colossal structure stretching over 5.6 miles across the Nile with a crest towering higher than a 20-story building. But it's not just a simple wall. This dam is a multi-pronged engineering masterpiece designed by Chinese engineers to maximize efficiency and stability. At its core lies an 883-meter-long earth core rock fill dam, acting as a formidable barrier against the Nile's mighty flow. Flanking this core are massive concrete-faced rock fill dams on both sides, standing guard against the river's power. Picture giant mounds of earth and rock, 
meticulously compacted to create impermeable barriers. But the dam isn't just about holding back water, it's about harnessing its power. Enter the live water section on the right bank, where a network of sluices controls water release, while a 154-meter-long spillway provides safety during high water levels. And let's not forget the crown jewel, the 300-meter power intake dam, housing 10 125-megawatt Francis Turbines, each capable of handling a staggering flow rate of 300 cubic meters of water per second. The potential electricity yield a whopping 5.5 terawatt hours annually. But it doesn't stop there. Alongside the dam construction came a massive upgrade of Sudan's electrical grid, laying over 1,500 kilometers of new transmission lines to distribute power across the country. But beyond its grand scale, the Mero Dam is a testament to meticulous design and construction. Every meter of the dam wall, every cubic meter of water flow, and every megawatt of electricity is calculated with precision to achieve optimal efficiency and performance. So, buckle up as we delve into the awe-inspiring world of the Moreau Dam, a symbol of cooperation, innovation, and the power of human ingenuity to tame the forces of nature for the betterment of society. Get ready to step into the realm of audacious engineering feats as we explore China's breathtaking Yongja Glass Bridge, the world's longest and highest glass-bottomed pedestrian bridge. Imagine this. Suspended 300 meters above a majestic canyon, with nothing but a sheet of glass separating you from the vast expanse below. This marvel of engineering isn't just about crossing from one side to another. It's about experiencing weightlessness, pushing the boundaries of construction and challenging perception. Spanning 375 meters across the stunning Jiang Jaja National Park, this transparent walkway is supported by massive steel girders filled with reinforced concrete weighing a colossal 2,200 tons, a reassuring heft for daredevils who dare to tread on its glassy surface. With no expense spared, coming in at a budget of around 460 million yuan, both beauty and safety were paramount in its construction. The magic lies in its glass deck, constructed from a triple layer of specially hardened glass, each layer an impressive 50 millimeters thick. To prove its resilience, engineers conducted the ultimate stress test, driving a 40-ton truck over a glass panel, resulting in a mere two-centimeter deflection. Yet, building a see-through bridge at such heights posed unique challenges. Wind forces became a major concern, leading to the abandonment of glass handrails in favor of discrete steel poles to minimize vibrations. Safety features abound, from giant glass balls hanging beneath the bridge to water reservoirs stabilizing the structure. But what truly sets this bridge apart is its ability to make you feel like you're floating in midair. As you step onto the transparent glass, the world seemingly drops away beneath your feet offering a bird's-eye view of the breathtaking canyon below, an experience that transcends mere construction and transforms into an unforgettable adventure. Get ready to dive into the incredible story of the Huming Tunnel, a testament to China's unwavering determination and engineering prowess. Tucked away in Gansu province, this tunnel posed a challenge that left engineers worldwide scratching their heads. Picture this. A mere 173 meters of tunnel left experts stumped, even causing Germany, known for its engineering excellence, to throw in the towel. But China? China wasn't about to back down from a challenge. So, what made the Huming Tunnel so notoriously difficult? It all boils down to geology and location. This wasn't your ordinary tunnel through solid rock. No, this tunnel cut through a reservoir and a river, saturating the surrounding soil with water and instability. Think of trying to tunnel through quicksand, the soil constantly shifting and threatening collapse with every dig. Safety concerns loomed large, and conventional methods proved ineffective. The Huming Tunnel earned its nickname the Tofu Tunnel, highlighting its frustratingly fragile nature. But China wasn't deterred. 
With innovative technologies and meticulous execution, they embarked on a daring plan. A team of 1,200 workers toiled tirelessly, adopting a cautious step-by-step -step excavation method along Cedar Vacuum de Watering to stabilize the soil. Yet progress was slow and fraught with danger. Sudden surges of water and sand into the tunnel became common occurrences. Harsh winters added further hurdles, with an entire team dedicated to breaking ice to prevent construction from halting entirely. But after six grueling years, the Huming Tunnel was finally complete. A triumph celebrated around the world. It filled a critical gap in the Lanwo Railway, boosting trade and tourism along its route. The Huming Tunnel may be small in size, but its completion represents a massive victory for China. An inspiring example of resilience, ingenuity, and refusing to yield in the face of adversity. It's a story that echoes far beyond its concrete walls, inspiring us all to tackle the impossible and emerge victorious. As we conclude our exploration of China's engineering wonders, we're left in awe of the ingenuity and audacity behind each project. From colossal dams to breathtaking glass bridges, these feats redefine what's possible. But the story doesn't end here. China's ambition knows no bounds, and there's undoubtedly more innovation on the horizon. So, stay tuned for future adventures into the world of engineering marvels.